Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where we're here in Hamburg, Germany for a visit to Miniature Wonderland. I've not seen much about this, but I've seen it. They've got like a big model of like an airport and the airplanes take off, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's also home to the world's largest model railway. They've got so much in here across multiple levels. It actually first opened back in year 2000, 23 years ago. And yeah, this place is absolutely amazing. I visited here four years ago in 2019. I actually filmed it over on Theme Park World wide back then um, because I thought well now it fits more into what we do on this channel doesn't it, it really indeed. so we're going to take you around and show you what's on offer it's going to be absolutely awesome I've got to say it does get very busy this place at weekends and certain times of the year they're actually open through until one in the morning so like, it shows you how busy crazy. it gets I know it costs 20 euros to book a ticket online and I definitely recommend doing it in advance and here's a look at the location of Miniature Wonderland with the entrance just over here. And yeah, the architecture of all the buildings around here is gorgeous. And yeah, we make our way in just here and up the steps. It's also right next door to the Hamburg Dungeon, Merlin attraction, just next door there as well. But yeah, it's open tonight until nine o'clock. Inside then now, and yeah, here's a look at the view from the entrance here into Miniature Wonderland. You've got the sign just down here as well. There you go, the smallest state on earth. <laughs> Let's go and head inside. We're really excited to explore this place again. So we just made our way inside and yeah, worth pointing out, they do also give out different maps. And yeah, we got one in English just here, which is fantastic. Yeah, as you can see, you've got the second floor just there, the third floor and the fourth floor. And yeah, lots to look around and explore. Really is a fantastic place. The detailing on this, especially the airport, is absolutely incredible. But yeah, the whole place is amazing. Let's go and have an explore. And actually, just before we do that, I was reading the back of the leaflet here, and yeah, you can see some different facts and figures there for Miniature Wonderland as well. Look at that. Over 10,000 wagons. Along with that, you've got 1,392 signals, um, 497,000 lights, 137,000 trees. Blimey. And yeah, the construction cost of everything, around 37.2 million euros. Wow, that's an expensive model railway. So we made our way upstairs to the start of the exhibition. And yeah, look at this. This is really cool. It tells you how many people have visited from all these different countries. Oh, this is fantastic. There you go. Can you see the UK on there? Where are we? There you go, down there at the bottom. Fantastic. We've also got one of them social media tickers just there as well. So you follow them on Facebook. And then, yeah, this will update. It just did it actually when we walked up the stairs. Here we go then. So welcome to miniature wonderland and this place is absolutely huge look at the size of the building and that's just this floor in here amazing so much detail has gone into each of these different scenes here you can get really close to it all as well look at this little wild west town just here and you can press that fire breather just there hey just down there yeah lots of interactives along the way the size of these mountains is amazing. Yeah, these are the Rocky Mountains we're looking at just here. There's all sound effects as well, which is really cool. Love it. All the traffic coming down just here as well. <laughs> oh, look at that, we've got the Easter train up there by the looks of it. <laughs> all carrots and ducks and things on the back. These are brilliant, how they run on the actual road just there. Congestion. So much movement in these as well, all the bridges and all the rocks around here. This is incredible. Reminds me of Big Thunder Mountain, oh there Charlotte. Oh. <laughs> Literally looks like BTM. And all the rocks just there, we found at the Disney parks. This place is absolutely phenomenal. We've only been in here for like 10 minutes and already it's all flooding back to me from last time, four years ago. Just amazing to see it. Just so much movement and loads of details. Like we're here in Las Vegas now. Like it's amazing. You enjoying it, Charlotte? I found the police cars. They've done a high speed chase. Oh, where, whereabouts? Over, down over there? there. The yeah, they've gone around the other side. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. There's Vegas just over there. New York, New York, you've got the Lux Orders on the left there as well, yeah, Treasure Paris, Island. Las Vegas, where we stay. Yeah, you've even got the coaster just over there as well, the big Apple coaster at the New York. Shuttles just going up into space there as well. Oh, there's so many details, I love it so much. The Space Centre just over there, amazing. Little drive-in cinema down here as well. 
Oh, I can hear his sirens. Lots of accidents going on today. <laughs> Look at all this around here. It's amazing, all the trees and just all the movement. You got Ripley's, believe it or not, there as well, the upside down building. <laughs> like it's been ripped up out of the ground. Over into the next room then now, and welcome to Scandinavia in model form. Oh, the lighthouse just there, the lights spinning round, the trains going over the big suspension bridge at the back. And yeah, they even like paint up the walls behind it, like with the clouds and the sky on there. Just so many details, like even just like look at this boat just here being worked on. The trains just pulling in, bringing in some more parts there. So overwhelming when you come here for the first time. It gets busy and you can see why they need to open until 1am sometimes. So people can really come and appreciate all of this. Nice big cruise ship just here as well. Look at that. Beautiful. And yeah, this Scandinavia scene goes all the way down there. It's massive, it's huge. All the mountain backdrop as well. Some of it painted onto the walls. All of it actually real as well down there. Phenomenal. And what's even more special about Miniature Wonderland is that every so often it goes to nighttime mode just here as well. And all the lights come on on the different scenes here. It looks completely different. When you stand here for a period of time, it doesn't just change from daytime to night mode, different things happen. It's like the sun sets and then the sun starts to rise. Things like the street lights just there coming on, not straight away. You wait till it gets fully pitch black. Over there, you've got a lorry with his hazards on. Amazing. <laughs> Looks like the gritters are out in full force here. But the trains are still running in Scandinavia. Oh, this scene is beautiful. You've also got the snowman carousel there as well that Charlotte just turned on. What are you thinking to this so far? This is fantastic. There's just so many little details, which is really nice to see. Amazing, yeah. In fact, you can just press the buttons and they're all just round here as well. It's nice how it's not all behind glass as well. You know, you can really live and feel and breathe all this. It's amazing. It really is. Never seen anything quite like it. And just to come and see it again. Beautiful with all the lights. And just like that, the sun's come up for a new day here in Scandinavia. Fantastic. Yeah, it stayed dark for about five minutes, I'd say. And then it changes every so often. Got a nice beach just down here as well. Train station just behind it. That's convenient. A little lighthouse here as well. And yeah, a bit of a party going on down here on the beach. Got a hedge maze back there, the windmill over in the background as well. There's a coach and this guy down here looks like he's crashed into the verge. It's all being combed off. Looks like the circus is in town just over here. An elevated track just up there as well. Looks like it could be a monorail actually. I've not seen it going back and forwards though. And the big suspension bridge. Make our way into Germany and Hamburg itself I believe to make our way around here. So this scene here is based on the International Garden Exhibition in Hamburg. Look at the watering can just there, like a rock climbing inside. Strawberry balloon here, and then all the lovely floral gardens there as well. Oh, it's going on. Hey, that's it. <laughs> nice little interactive. Yeah, literally just press these buttons and hold it. <laughs> and you see these in action. How beautiful is that? <laughs> Some of the trains are so long as well. And here's the Zoodist over here. Look at the entrance to it. There's just so oh, much detail. Hey, old mini goats just up there. Elephants just down here Gorillas. as well. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bear just there. It rhymes camels down here by Charlotte's arm. Welcome to Hamburg. A look inside this concert hall here. Yeah, it's closing up now. That's amazing. So yeah, it'll just open up so you can see the concert on going inside. Oh, 
And of course, you're allowed to take as many photos and videos as you want to at Miniature Wonderland. And yeah, they actually put these little areas in where you can kind of level your camera up and get the perfect shot like the suspension bridge just there. You think it was a real photo, that? Look at the size of the central station just here. Actually features 18 platforms and it took five months for the team here to build this station alone. And yeah, we actually just drove past this, making our way down here to the car park. And yeah, here's a look at the front of the station and inside there as well. All the buildings around. So impressive. I hadn't really forgotten how impressive it was, but yeah, it's been four years. I've seen a lot of other things since. So much has happened in that time. So it's just so nice to be here and refresh my memory on it and take you all along and get some different angles and shots of it as well. Because I'm sure the vlog from four years ago was so different looking at, you know, other details because there's so much to see here. You could film for hours and hours and always see something new. I've got their indicators on. <laughs> That's the thing. There's just so much happening, isn't there? Like, all, every tiny little detail, like the coach just over there. If you love model railways and miniatures and everything like that, get yourself here and wait till you see the airport. That's even more incredible. Lots going on in this scene just over here, including a fire that we can see. Oh no, look at the building. Luckily, you've got all the fire and rescue teams down there. Loads of blue flashing lights. All the detailed buildings there behind it. Oh, there we go, fire's out. All sorted. <laughs> and yeah, Miniature Wonderland itself is represented here inside the warehouse that we can see. And yeah, that's the thing, we're in the warehouse district of Hamburg around here. All the little bridges and canals. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, looks like it's going dark again. Oh, wow, look at Hamburg at night just here. So much going on. What have we got going on down here? A bit of party music going on. A concert strip. Yeah, big rave going on. I see, it's like supposed to be like a, a parade, isn't it? Like yeah. they're all on the back of these trucks coming through. I wonder that's if that's something they actually do here in Hamburg. And then you've got the Louisiana Star boat down there as well. And here's a look at the stadium here in Hamburg as well. Look at all the people sat in there. Like amazing. Imagine just even building that and putting each and every person in there, all in different positions. I find it fascinating. And we even got fireworks going off in the distance just there as well. How cool is that? Big bonfire going on just down here. Maybe it's bonfire night. That's why we had fireworks. Bonfire night in Hamburg, Germany. We're making our way round to one of my favourite parts in just a moment. You can see it in the distance. The fun fair has come to town. We've got some major construction going on first over here. Looks like possibly some restoration on that building. Now, last time I was here in 2019, I remember they were completely rebuilding the fun fair, and obviously that's been finished for a few years now. Look at this, absolutely phenomenal. Right, you've got the coaster at the back just there, you've got the log flume which is actually going round. <laughs> there we go, I like how the lady's just helping it along just there up the lift hill and get the boats in action. Look at the flats just here, drop towers going up now, Charlotte. What do you think to this? This is amazing. Uh, there's so many rides now, we've got the octopus. We've actually got a top scan down there as well. There's a Larson loop, there's a Condor ride. So much, we've got to see this drop tower go now, haven't we? Is it gonna tease people, are you gonna hold them at the top? I think I'm just dropping straight down. Have they only got a seat belt on as well? I don't think they've got anything. They haven't got like an over the top restraint or anything, like over the shoulder. It's literally just a tiny seat belt. I think it's going to come straight down or we're getting a view. Oh, feel the g-force. This is absolutely incredible. And yeah, most of the rides actually work as well. Really busy at the fair. We've got the Starfly going up, the booster, tagging her down there at the back, the big wheel. This is amazing. There's the Condor going up. Wow. And look at the top scan. That's probably my favorite just over there. There it is, Mondale top scan. That is amazing. Pirate ship just there as well. We've got an Enterprise down here. I don't think that coaster operates at the back. Profile looks a bit off. Tristar over there. Wildmouth. Breakdance just down there as well. This is phenomenal. Yeah, I remember now that they were redoing it last time we were here. And yeah, you just press all these. 
get the different rides in action. I think when it's doing that, it means it's actually in action, so we can get that going. Let's hold on to it. There we go, and we'll see the top spin. Going round. This is amazing. How cool is this? I absolutely love this. Uh, we need this, but built at home. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Machine Aerium just over here, and actual smoke comes out the top of that one. Big fun house. What stalls we got down here, Charlotte? Sweet corn stall. Oh yeah, it's actually a sweet corn man, he's got a face up. Yeah, and that will sell sweet corn. And this is probably the best view across the whole fair. Thousands of people there enjoying plenty of rides. That's definitely our favourite scene, we love it. That is beautiful. It was good last time, but it's so much better now it's been redone. I remember seeing the models, a lot of the Funfair ones weren't here. They were in like the workshop area, which you'll probably see later on. And that's where they kind of make new things and fix lots of things as well. Yeah, this is incredible. We'll have to come and see it at night. And from all the fun of the fair into the wilderness just here and a forest fire taking place just up there. So we've got a little caravan park over here as well. <laughs> I am loving it so far here at Miniature Wonderland and it looks like it's starting to go dark again. So let's go and see the fun fair at night. Well, it was awesome in daytime. Now look at it at night. You really get to appreciate all the lighting packages on there as well. Especially the one, the big wheel, Jupiter at the back. Phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Looks almost real, doesn't it? Looks like you're on like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, down. it really does. So just opposite, you can actually see the area here where they work on a lot of the models and building new things. And I imagine this is like a test circuit possibly here as well which is really interesting and wait till you see this operation going on behind me wow look at all the monitors in here and the full operation you've even got cameras attached onto some of the trains and watching the airport down there as well so much to this there really is and it gets busy this place that's why you want to allow a good amount of time to walk around you know you don't just want to be here for like an hour or something allow a good few hours to really explore all that Miniature Wonderland has to offer. Double decker train, quite the norm really over here in mainland Europe, but we're not used to it back home. I wish we did have double decker trains, but I don't think we've got the infrastructure for that, sadly. Yeah, this valley's really nice. Somebody zip line across there, and this one says cuckoo clock if we press the button. Oh, there we go. A little clock down the bottom just there. Limestone cave, that's the thing, you've got things going on underneath as well. And some of the floors have actually got the train tracks underneath beer garden having a good time down there we are in germany after all let's slow down a bit if i were you mate it's going a bit quick down that hill oh and stopped at the traffic lights <laughs> look at all the diggers just over there that's awesome yeah they've actually got these little podiums as well that you can stand on so you can get more of an aerial perspective over everything in here. <laughs> it looks quite nice, a little conservatory on the side. Oh, here comes the fire truck. We've got another fire here in Wonderland. They have a lot of accidents and fires going on here. <laughs> All the mountain terrain around here. Cargo train coming through. Looks like they've got a big tree house. Looks fun. Nice place to live. Suspension bridge up there as well. There's an even bigger one around here to the left. Actually goes over the pathway. Yeah, how brilliant is this? There's a look at the bridge that goes right over where you walk. Like, that is awesome. 
And there's a look at some of the seats that you've got, actual train seats there as well, Charlotte's testing it out. Is it comfy there for you? Yeah. <laughs> First class seat for Charlotte. Just over there as always. Dogs are permitted as you can see, there you go. Make our way into the next scene just over here. Yeah, different parts of the world that we can travel around all in one place here. Amazing. I like how they've done the clouds up there as well. Like cotton wool. What are you just set off here, Charlotte? Prison the broke out. Oh yeah, more sirens. So much going on here, isn't there? <laughs> oh, the arena just down there. I love all these buildings. One of my favourites just up there is the cable car, actually working as well. That's the thing here, they don't just build things, they actually have these models working, in operation. Which I find amazing. Oh, it's an old loco coming round here, look at the carriages on that. And yeah, when I said how much it costs to build this place in total at the start, you can see why now. Because this sort of stuff is not cheap to build, or buy. Especially when you're doing it to this high standard and wow, this quantity as well. <laughs> the clouds look really effective. Up there. Another ski lift up there as well. Taking people up into the mountains. There they are skiing back down. As it starts to go dark again, here's a train crossing over the bridge. <laughs> I love that. Well, we've seen so much here so far at Miniature Wonderland, and one of my favourite parts is the airport just here, because this is really complex how it all works. With all the different aircraft here, they actually take off land, the taxi, the park upon stand, like how amazing is this Charlotte? This is fantastic. <laughs> it's incredible. Like, it's night time at the moment, but we'll of course stay around here and see it in the daytime as well. Very busy down here at the airport today. Good job we got good train connections going on here. <laughs> All them passengers coming in off the flights. Just down here at the runway now. Oh, I come in here. An airplane coming in, here it is. Hey! Coming into land. It's Concord. Here's a closer look at Lufthansa coming down here. I think that one landed just before we saw Concord. I'm sure we'll see something else again. Land or take off in just a moment. Off. All the sound effects and everything. And up it goes. <laughs> Into the sky. I could watch this all day. It's more interesting than a real airport. Ready for another takeoff, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice holiday. <laughs> and here's a look at all the different aircraft. We've even got the Millennium Falcon that's come into play. <laughs> Emirates just over there as well. EasyJet down there. So much. Air France. Trying to see if we can see Ryanair or no, not. No, I can't see one. Control Tower. Yeah, looks like that group are having a behind the scenes tour over there. It's amazing how this works. It's not just the aircraft, it's all the buses, the cars, the vehicles, machinery, people's suitcases, like everything. Absolutely everything has been thought about with this. More details close to the airport here. Hot tub. Swimming pool, yeah, that looks nice. Indoor pool, a bit of swimming. 
Now, like I said earlier on in the vlog, Miniature Wonderland is actually built in an old warehouse, which means it can be multi-level as well, such as this. And these models are amazing. Like these mountains in front of us, you can actually go inside like, and stand up in them. Like, they're that big. Like, I know you can't do that, but that's how big they actually are. The trains down there, the bridges. That's the thing, they even get the signals, the electricity wires, all that. You can see all the track down the bottom there as well. I like that train going around the edge, and they've actually painted on the bridge onto the wall, which looks awesome. Welcome to Switzerland, and we've got this big dam just over here. Is that a bear climbing up? Looks like it. Looks like it. And toboggan just over here as well. I've done quite a few of these over the years, haven't we? We have. Oh, toboggans? Is that in action or no, not? It's oh, oh, toboggan run. Doing something. Maybe it's going up the lift hill, I'm not too sure. That's the thing with something like this, though. They've got to keep coming around, resetting bits, and there's so much that can go wrong when you've got things moving around. Little playground down there. It's great how it's interactive. Fun for all ages coming somewhere like this. All the little Swiss buildings around there. Oh, is it? Oh, there we go. Little high play on that. Why is there a penguin on there? I'm not too sure. Well, there was like a polar bear climbing up just. Oh, looks like it's going dark again. Yeah, it seems to change every like 15 minutes or so. Wow, underneath us. It's everywhere you look. I do love this kind of evening sunset ambience where it all goes dark and purple. And all the lights come on. And the towns and villages, there you go, you saw the street lights just start to come on then. It's the fact they all flicker on as well like they would do in real life. Look at this lift mechanism actually bringing the trains down here now as we enter into this cave for it to bring it on to this level. And then obviously it'll be able to go through the tunnel and down that way. That's really cool to see. So everything that you've seen so far in this vlog has all been on one floor. Like we're down on the next level now, three to explore. And there's a new section over a bridge somewhere as well that I need to see. I remember they were building that last time. And that's in another building. The volcano is awesome. I don't know if it's picking up the sound or not. In the background, you've got like the strong base of the eruption happening as well, and all the lava streaming down the side. Look over Pompeii just here. love these buildings. I mean all the buildings here are amazing but these are some of my favourites here. A little sightseeing bus just on there as well. Beach Life. Oh yeah. The, the, the oh there you go. <laughs> Yeah, you can see why people who love model railways and just all kinds of models would travel here from anywhere around the world. Definitely recommend it and like 20 euros to come in as well is a great price for what you're seeing here. You can spend as long as you want exploring the Wonderland. So yeah, back over to the Swiss scene just here now. So when we came down the steps, that Swiss scene was all around there and we came down this way. It kind of continues on around on this side. Some pretty heavy traffic up there. All queuing. Uh, Charlotte having a bit of a look. <laughs> Is it? I'll come round. <laughs> Here we go. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh, on there. Why is the hippo on the building roof? I don't quite know. Yeah. <laughs> There's some funny little quirky bits in here as well. It keeps the kids entertained. Yeah, these are these little platforms. I was telling you about so you can just stand up on there we go and get these sort of views instead all the way across great for the kids as well or big kids it's like a drone perspective looking over it all Continuing on over in Italy now. I know I've actually visited this place before, filmed the vlog over on Theme Park Worldwide. Italy in miniature. And yeah, I've actually been on this monorail 
that runs around here as well. You can see that vlog over on our other channel. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already. Theme Park Worldwide. I like the hot air balloons painted on the wall. One looks like an ice cream at the top. <laughs> And once again, over to Switzerland here. All the little fire torches. This huge festival going on here as well. Thousands of people turned out for the event. Some sort of art exhibition over here by the looks of it as well. Going on. DJ Bobo concert, 20,000 fans. Famous Swiss DJ. That we can see going on just there, Bobo Fantasy. And everybody camping out just here as well. You've even got the little portaloos just up there as well. Everyone's favorite. And is that a hot dog stand or a sausage stand? Hot dogs, there you go, lovely. Everybody partying the day away. And shortly, the night away. It's gonna be going dark again in a few minutes. I love this little play park down here. You got the swings, the roundabout, the seesaw, and even the zip wire in action down there as well. This is all back over in the Swiss scene. You can see the traffic building up again there on the road. This little carnival going on down here as well. Little ambulance there coming down. And yeah, you saw this a few minutes ago when we were coming down the steps. Here's a look at it from the bottom just here. All these mountains. All the trains just here as well. Yeah, I do like how the trains in Switzerland have these big open windows, you know, so you can kind of look out. Great observation of all the scenery. Train crossing over the bridge again. Chairlift. Got the air balloons up there as well. I can hear the planes <laughs> going over the airport as well. Which is just above us. Round into the next room then now. And here we are in Venice. I think the painting looks amazing on the wall there just behind it and really puts it into perspective on just how detailed all of this is. Like yeah. it's like a real picture, doesn't it? It's all the sound effects as well that make it feel really real. Looks like we've got a celebrity photo shoot going on down the bottom there. Venice at night. Over into Rome now. To the Colosseum just over there. Love this lighting, it just starts to go light again. This is a really good one here. So it doesn't pick up that well on the camera, but you can just see a little screen there. Just in here and they're watching us on TV. <laughs> Like there's a little camera pointing out. Like, that's amazing. I like how they're not afraid to show real life events here as well. It's not all happy and everything's fine. It's like we've got a protest going on just down here. Makes it more realistic that way, doesn't it? Actually showing what it's like, the world in real life. Not just everything rosy all the time. Just the size of some of these structures, like all the mountains and like going up into the workings of the actual 
building just in here. Oh, this is nice, really colourful buildings. Look at the colour of that water down there as well. You just want to jump straight in. And yeah, that's the thing here, they're always changing things and updating areas and off to the right here you'll be able to see how they're doing that to one of the areas right now just over here there we go and a nice cap free sun there right yeah. <laughs> yeah it gets just get quite warm here you don't really want loads of layers on and stuff when you're coming here oh, yeah a lot of this is all blocked off whilst they're redoing it as you can see yeah, i don't know if this is fully brand new or what but yeah, look at this. It looks brand new, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I don't think it's an old one being refurbished. It looks like it's probably brand new. And there's all the little seats for them to work on. Yeah, they're actually building Monaco just over here. And here's another angle of Monaco under construction there. And yeah, you can kind of see how they do all these mood boards and concepts just to get it right. Yeah, what we're going to be doing shortly is actually crossing over a bridge into another building to go and see some of the new parts compared to last time I was here. That's the thing, they're always developing and changing things. Got a big stadium over here as well. Wow, this is cool. Big grand's down there, a few thousand people just sat on there alone. Imagine just having to individually place all of those on there. Wow, look at this. Hey, <laughs> that is incredible. The question is, whose concert is it? Who's that on there? I'm not too sure. I just like how realistic it is as well because obviously the stage is set up there so there's nobody sat behind the stage. You Everyone's down the side. Realistic. There's a goat at yeah. the back. Oh, maybe you wanted to watch the concert, Famous. Charlotte. Yeah, there is a few funny quirky bits in here as well. But how many people have you seen, like seated there, like the size? Probably like 30, 40,000 possibly. That is incredible. Got a bit of rafting going on just down there. I don't know if I fancy driving around some of these roads just up here. <laughs> All the lovely floral displays. That's the thing, it's how they actually paint up the backdrops as well, which really makes it in here. I don't remember seeing this last time. I don't remember much of it though, to be honest. I mean, the standout parts like the fun fair and the airport. But yeah, maybe this scene has been done since last time I was here, especially with it being connected onto Monaco that they're building. Possibly this is new since last time. Not many places would they allow you to tread on top of the train tracks, <laughs> but you can here when it's a wonderland. All the mechanics down here. I wonder if there's going to be another scene just over here. Looks like it, doesn't it? Right, let's go and cross over the bridge. So yeah, last time I was here, this expansion hadn't opened. I remember looking at some mood boards, similar to the Monaco ones, and them saying that they were going to be doing this. So yeah, it's great to see it finally open. And I'll tell you what, the views down here are pretty impressive. Wow, look at this, all the bridges the kind of warehouse districts here in Hamburg. Oh, I, there we go, oh my God, that's whizzing along fast down the side. I like that, they've even continued on the models and train tracks actually going over the bridge just here. Loads of shipping containers there as well. Lots of different scenes across the bridge down here. Uh, amazing, actually going into another building now. It's insane the size of this place. You definitely didn't want to underestimate it and just come for like the last hour or something. Make sure you have at least a good kind of set half a day aside really for this. Some great theming around here as well. As we enter into what I believe is South America. Wow, what a view. And yeah, you see where the black cloth is over in the background? That looks like another area we're opening literally in a week's time. So you have something else to come back for in the future, Charlotte. It's nice to see that they keep adding investment to it, which is nice. Yeah, that's the thing, always putting new things in. Like I say, since last time I was here, all this is new. Working on Monaco and yeah, something else over at the back there. It looks like, in fact, they're doing some sort of promotional filming at the moment. Might get a little sneak peek. Look at the banana just up there <laughs> on the hotel beach down here as well. Oh, it looks so appealing this beach right now. <laughs> I feel like the newer ones have got even more detail. Like, look at all these skyscrapers here. There's so many like little scenes and stories being told within the bigger scenes as well. You can have a first glance at it, but you really need to start looking into the details. Like what's going on here, for example, all these like lying in a circle. Like there's just so many things that are just put out. Yeah. 
Looks like it's going dark again. And yeah, only on the 3rd of May 2023, Patagonia. Just that I show you this at night here as well. That is beautiful. And really, this kind of shows you how basic these start off just here. Big wooden boards with a little bit of track on. And then they turn them into something amazing. Like, this kind of shows you what they're planning to do over a period of time. Like, it really makes you appreciate it even more, doesn't it? Like, how do you even start with something like this? Like, you know, literally just a piece of board and some train track. And then you build it up with layer after layer. Fascinating. And this section over here features lots of different models that you can see. All the dates on the floor there as well underneath yeah they've got loads of expansion room over here i mean it's more of an exhibition at the moment um but it wouldn't surprise me if we see them expand with even more parts of the world around here at some point in the future all the graffiti on the walls bananas for sale there sometimes it's nicer when they are smaller scenes like this because you can really pick out the details when it's such a big set it can be quite overwhelming sometimes but with these smaller ones you can really pick out the smaller details it's always worth kind of lowering the camera down and showing it from that angle as well a bit of construction going on just here in this diorama it's more realistic isn't it down at that angle amazing looks like a fire has completely destroyed this town here and you've even got the train carriage that's gone through the building there as well so this section's also got headphones just here where you can listen to lots of different things going on and the stadium down there is a photo opportunity 20 years of miniature wonderland and i love the building itself with all this steelwork Amazing to see. Bing bong. Platform two. <laughs> and this exhibition area continues around here. The celebration area for 20 years. As we can see. Guinness World Record just up there as well. The longest melody played by a model train. 2,840 notes long. And was achieved by Miniature Wonderland on the 17th of March 2021. So yeah, they've achieved that since... Last time I was here, much bigger scale trains there as well. That shows the bridge being put into place that we actually just walked over as well. And that's the thing I'd imagine in the future, a lot of this will turn into other models and areas all around here. A little behind the scenes look at that fun fair there as well, the Kermis. Utopia 2013 just here. You know, worth pointing out the signs are all in German, of course, and English as well, which is great for international visitors. Looks like we've got a bit of a cow parade going on down here. I don't know what they've got on the heads just there. They've got something on. It's a really cool effect with the projector just there, and they've built up a few raised areas, and yeah, looks really good, very effective. Got this big carnival going on just here as well. Look at the size of them floats. And the gondolas coming past here as well. Going at a nice speed. Yeah, I feel like on these newer ones, the detailing is even better. All right, just look at this here. Got the dog just up there. Oh, is it a horse? Yeah, it's a horse. I think that's like the Brazilian carnival that they have. Yeah. Road works going on down here. The sound effects what really add to it in here as well. It makes it feel like so alive. All these trees. All these little roads. Imagine driving around some of this. I love how close you can get to everything as well. Well, because we're in the evening, this is closed now. We, I think it's open to like six o'clock normally. And you can have like a 3D figure of yourself made here. Quite expensive. I mean, you've got the small ones down there and the big one, that depending so cool. on what sort of size you want. I mean, the price is on there. Yeah, they start off at like 39 and go up to like 319. So it depends on what you want size-wise. Um, yeah, they're really awesome. All 3D kind of printed models of yourself. And they've also got the Yulby virtual reality experience over here as well, which is an upcharge 
that you can do if you want to. Well, they've certainly got a lot of room for future expansion on that side. There's also a little cafe there as well. Worth pointing out, they have got a main restaurant over in the main building as well. And yeah, the food's pretty reasonably priced in there as well, which is good. But yeah, lots of room for future developments here at Miniature Wonderland. I'm sure they'll utilize all that space in the future. Let's cross back over the bridge. Well, there we go. That's a full tour of Miniature Wonderland here in Hamburg, Germany. What an amazing visit. And like I said earlier on, you can walk back around different areas. We've just come up to see a couple of our favorite areas again, starting off with the fun fair. We'll have another look at the airport as well. My two favorite parts here. What about you, Charlotte? You got some favorites? Oh, I really like the airport. I yeah, think. the it's airport's really great. Unique, but the fun fair is great as well. Yeah, and I think all of it's amazing. Like all the different areas are great. I think the new section's got a lot of detailing on there. But then you come back up and look round at everything, you know, and there really is so much. But you can spend as long as you want to here. Um, like I said, they've got a restaurant, which is really good. Lots of hot and cold food available there as well. Good variety. They've got like uh, pasta, lasagna, all that kind of stuff there. And yeah, as you can see, much quieter up here now because we're back at the start now. Much quieter than it was earlier on. I mean, everyone was kind of standing around here to look at the fun fair. Now you can see it a lot better. Amazing. Yeah, we'll have another look over at the airport and then we'll head outside and wrap up this vlog here on the Sambrook Adventures. I'm back over here at Hamburg Airport. Nice evening takeoff. Have a nice flight. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. We've just seen our two favorite areas again here at Miniature Wonderland. And there's a look at some of the merch they do and we actually head down into the gift shop now. You actually walk through there at the start, but I thought we'd show you it at the end. Just down here then at the little restaurant that they've got. <laughs> They're really nice they are. I thought you would buy me one then, Sean. Putting it back. But yeah, here's a look at the restaurant area. Look at the train seating over there as well. So cool. really good. like potatoes, chili con carne, everything like that. Good prices as well. Like they don't rip you off. Really fair prices. <laughs> nice they are, aren't they? Great model. It's only 19 dollars yeah, Not bad, what fun is that? <laughs> they sell all sorts in this shop, not just miniature Wonderland related items. Those are random things as well. Like mini little drones and that sort of stuff. Flashies, pin badges, all sorts of merchandise available to commemorate your visit. Look at all them there. Hamburg. That's a good one. <laughs> With a beer. Seagull. Hmm. There's the Eiffel Tower just up there as well. Yeah, maybe we'll do a French section at some point in the future. You make it. Oh. Out of metal. Oh, wow. That's quite cool. How, isn't it? how much is that? We've got a price on it or not? $25.90. Well, that looks really good for that it price, doesn't it? I oh, my gosh. That, but it just comes flat packed. Yeah. And that's the right sort of scale if you've got like a, a model railway or something, you could put that in there. Well, I say the right exactly. scale, but you know, it, it would fit. It wouldn't look too out of place. Lots of books here as well, as you can see on the sign. Also available in English as well. That's good. I imagine they get a lot of international visitors coming here, as we saw back at the start from that screen. Seagull. Seagull just there. <laughs> Loads. Oh, what a selection of seagulls, German seagulls for you. That's a nice one. Here's a candle as well. <laughs> Mm. What you got there, Charlotte? I've got the miniature Wonderland Monopoly set. That's awesome, 34 euros. Yeah, that's cool. That is. I like how they do all sorts of different merch with all the logos on and yeah, books and everything. Like it's very, very cool. <laughs> you got all sorts of different models that you can buy here as well. Coaches, cruise ships, cars, all sorts of stuff. Lots of different scales as well. Not scales to weigh yourself on, scales as in that might fit with your set. Like, yeah, these are kind of similar to what would work on like a Hornby kind of railway set, for example. All sorts for sale around here. Amazing, and yeah, the area where they expanded was over into one of them warehouses. In fact, that's the bridge just above us there. What a place. Miniature Wonderland in Hamburg. 
and also worth pointing out you can't take large bags and things inside however they've got a free cloakroom you just need a one euro deposit but like I say you get that back um, at the end of your visits so yeah that's really good if you've got big bags suitcases and even coats and that sort of thing over here as well Back outside then now after our visit there to Miniature Wonderland and I really enjoyed it. We've been there just over three hours taking it all in. That place is amazing, it really that is. Was absolutely fantastic. There was so much movement, all the attention to detail. I love the airport scene, the funfair scene and for the price of charge, it's an absolute bargain. It is and it's even the food in there as well is reasonably priced. You can get a good meal for like eight to ten euros. So that's, that's great. not too bad at yeah, all. Fantastic what they've got in there. But yeah, I really feel like the improvements that they've made with the expansion and everything's really good. I look forward to seeing the new developments, like what they've got under construction now and other new bits, because it'll probably come back in a few years' time and I'm sure we'll do it again. It's one of them things that because they're always adding new things, it makes it really good for repeat visits as well. It's like people who are coming to Hamburg who have been before, they're going to get something different every time they come. Yeah, if I knew it was exactly the same as four years ago, we might have gone to it or we might not. I mean, we probably would because it's a show Charlotte, but uh, in general, like it's next nice time we come around here, bits. yeah, we'll come and do it again. Uh, but no, it's been absolutely awesome. Really uh, I tell you what, the amount of attention to detail that goes into something like that and you're looking at over 30 million euros worth of equipment there um, all set up over the past kind of 23 years they've been building that place up and I can't wait to see where they go in the future I also love how they do the daytime and nighttime mode and it rotates kind of every 15 minutes so you're not having to wait about ages for it like once every hour or something it's every 15 minutes or so Which so you can you, you all. can see all the areas in the daytime and at night because then if you're walking around one area it'll go dark and then go light again definitely but of course that's all from our trip here to Germany on this channel but if you head over to the theme park worldwide, we're doing a few of the theme parks around here and also the dungeon as well. So yeah, it's going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, well, there we go. Thank you very much for watching and, and have your own adventures. adventures. We'll see you in the next vlog.